Brian Beebe and welcome to my channel. Today I'm sharing a quick and easy tutorial to make your own file folder wall hanging thing. I don't even know what to call it. But this is something that I've been making since my first year of teaching and they hold up really well but I keep making tweaks to them and the tweak that I made this year is that I now have two of them. I used to have one set of five folders that would stick on my wall for extra copies of homework assignments so I didn't have to continuously pass them out and students could just take them when they need them. I now need a set of two for two different courses. So the supplies that you'll need for this are folders and you can get any folder you like. To get the colored folders I had to go to Staples and get a pack of 30 for about eight or nine dollars. You're also going to need scotch tape, not pictured, and you need duct tape. This is the duck brand. I remember when these first came out, they're called ducklings. I don't know if they're still called that anymore, but it's just the thin duct tape and I use this to reinforce the folders to keep everything sturdy and together. And to make my folders stick to the wall, I use the Scotch permanent mounting tape. Now this stuff, if you're using it in your classroom and you're not careful, it will peel off the paint. Um, what my custodians don't know won't hurt them. If you were to create the folders to stick to a surface that will take magnets, magnets work fabulously well. Even with heavy papers, I used magnets for years and never had a problem. Okay, so that's everything you need, so let's get to the tutorial. Here's what I'm working with right now, and this is maybe the third time that I've made a set of folders like this. Each time they last, and I haven't had a problem with them falling apart, but I just think of things to do better. So what I changed this year from last year is that I now have two. And what I don't like is how I have the labels because they end up getting covered by any of the papers that I put in here. Okay, so I have my five file folders. I'm sorry about the shadow puppets, but it's my lighting for right now. And what I'm basically doing is taking a folder and then putting it inside of the next folder. So this is actually going to slide in here and then I'm just going to take them together at the edge. What I did ahead of time was measure it out with a sheet of paper in here. My copies are going to be facing this way so I need to make sure that there's a little bit of space so that I can see between the folders for the next copies. So what I actually did was decide that four inches between folders was perfect. So I actually went through and marked all of my folders on the back of where I want to put the next folder. So now that I have that done, I'm just going to be taping these together. Before I tape it though, this is going to be my folder on top. I'm going to cut this part off. So the tab is gone and I'm just going to go through and tape all of these together. So I have my folders taped together and what I did was I made labels. I just did some photography, but I might change this up. The last thing that I do once I have everything put together is I use duct tape and this is the thin duct tape and I'm just going to use it to reinforce the edges. the finished product so make sure when you put the duct tape at the top that you're not sealing this folder closed up here and the duct tape on the sides just really reinforces it and helps it stay sturdy and strong and once I got the duct tape on the edges here I kind of just cut off any excess if there was any but this is the finished product here is my official after I have the word homework extra as letter cutouts that I made on my Cricut and these are my folders. I now have labels so that students can see which ones are for general geometry and which ones are for geometry. And I have these labels so students can see that whatever we did Monday will be up here, whatever we did Tuesday will be here, whatever we did Wednesday will be here, whatever we did Thursday goes here, and whatever we did Friday goes here. And that's everything for this video. If you found it helpful or enjoyed it, hit the like button. And if you want to stay tuned for future videos that are helpful for teachers, make sure you hit the subscribe button. 
as always, thank you for watching.